Right, fantastic. So um, this is the setup um, and calibration of your Wahoo kicker. Um, we've luckily got Mark Topowski in here with us today, um, who's on the bike at the moment. One of the Talk uh, Australia riders, Talk Nutrition Australia. Um, firstly, you will have um, in the in a previous um, video been shown how to download um, both the apps that you will need for this process. And the app that you need for this one is the Wahoo Utility. So if you hit the Wahoo Utility app, it will bring up the Wahoo Fitness Utility app on your iPhone or iPad. The key then is to set and test the sensors. So you will get test Bluetooth for sensors. Remember when setting up your Wahoo Kicker, your phone needs to be set to Bluetooth. The Bluetooth connectivity of your iPhone and iPad will connect with the Kicker and that's how we control the Kicker trainers. So you need to make sure that you've gone into Bluetooth and turned on the Bluetooth functionality. If you come back to settings, come out, and then you will scroll through till you get to Wahoo Utility. Once we've selected Wahoo Utility, we go to test Bluetooth for sensors. We then select Kicker, and it will search for the Kicker trainer. It says the Kicker is connected. We will then look for the initiate spin down. I will hit the initiate spin down and it will tell me that we need to pedal up to 22 kilometers an hour. I will go OK. Can you bring the speed up please Mark? That's it, a little bit faster. That's it, fantastic, stop pedaling. We will now allow the kicker to spin down and when it has completed the spin down we will have the kicker trainer with the zero offset and calibration complete. This will happen over a little bit of time as it initiates the spin down. You do not pedal during this period. As the speed's coming down, it will then tell us what our zero is. There we go, we've gone spin down result, spin down successful, trainer reset to standard mode level two, spin down results here were an offset of 760. Again, like our power meters, we want to make sure that our offset is staying relatively stable. And in my experience with the Kicker Trainers, they're an incredibly stable unit and platform to work with power and incredibly accurate machines. So I'm finding that my zero offset on my Kicker Trainers, because they're staying in the same normal, same environment in your home, are staying within five to 10 zero offset positions. Um, once that's done, push OK, we are ready to start doing some testing. And to calibrate and to set up the head unit, um, you'll go page that controls the kicker. So again, it will originally be...